Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Rally. Huge thanks to Rally and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Rally reached out asking for a deck themed around Saitama, better known as Cape Baldy or One Punch Man. But Rally was struggling to figure out who should lead the deck. Eventually, I came up with the idea of using Riku of Two Reflections. I explained my idea to Rally, and he loved it. So, this deck will be One Punch Riku. Rally also asked that this deck not have any budget. If you're a casual player who gets their magic cards from a printer rather than their local game store, that won't matter to you. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the deck list, consider sharing this video as well. Riku of Two Reflections is a 5-mana 2-2 legendary human wizard with two triggered abilities. The first says that if we cast an instant or sorcery, we may pay a red and a blue. If we do, we copy that spell and may choose new targets for the copy. The second one says that if another non-token creature enters the battlefield under our control, we may pay a green and a blue. If we do, we create a token that's a copy of that creature. So, Riku needs a lot of mana to function properly. Ideally, we'll make copies of lots and lots of spells and creatures, so we'll need to have lots and lots of ramp. Good thing we trained so hard. We'll need to train harder than anyone, though, in order to defeat our opponents with a single punch. Now, I've built Riku decks before on this channel, and my focus is usually on making copies of Nyxbloom Ancient. That is no different with this deck. But in my old version, I would use cards like Thassa or Displacer Kitten to flicker the original Nyx Bloom Agent so that I could use Riku to make another copy. This deck went with a different direction. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultima Guard. One of my favorite products Ultima Guard has is their Xenoskin Sidewinder. The Sidewinder has a soft microfiber lining as well as the rugged Xenoskin shell we've all come to love. While the Sidewinder isn't a new product, they are now available in the beautiful Two-Tone Synergy series, like this red-white one seen here. Find it if your local game store carries Ultima Guard products, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy-dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. One last announcement before we get into our video. I've been invited to attend MagicCon Chicago. Unfortunately, I'm a little short on funds and might not be able to make it. If you'd like to help me and my kid, the one who convinced me to get back into magic, travel to the Windy City in order to play this February, consider joining my Patreon. Even if it's just for a month of support, it would mean a lot. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Misty Rainforest, Scalding Tarn, Wooded Foothills, Verdant Catacombs, Flooded Strand, Arid Mesa, Windswept Heath, Polluted Delta, Bloodstained Mire, Ketria Triome, Tropical Island, Volcanic Island, Taiga, Breeding Pool, Steam Vents, Stomping Ground, Rejuvenating Springs, Training Center, Spire Garden, Dreamroot Cascade, Stormcarved Coast, Rockfall Vale, Four Forests, Three Islands, and Three Mountains make up our land base for this deck. Dockside Extortionist, Stormkiln Artist, Nyx Bloom Ancient, Mana Crypt, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Burgeoning, Exploration, Azusa Lost But Seeking, Dryad of the Elysian Grove, Undergrowth Recon, Crucible of Worlds, Conduit of Worlds, and Ramin' Up Excavator help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. I'm a big fan of using fetch lands combined with extra lands per turn effects and the ability to play lands from the graveyard. But we're a Spellslinger deck, so we're also running Jessica's Will, 
Mana Morphos, and Mana Geyser as Rituals. Archmage Emeritus, Frantic Search, Teferi's Ageless Insight, Mystical Tutor, Solve the Equation, Windfall, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Misfortune, Blue Sun Zenith, Underworld Breach, Green Sun Zenith, Ristic Study, Eternal Witness, and Mystic Remora help us to dig through our deck and find answers. A Braid, Counterspell, Beast Within, Reclamation Sage, Chaos Warp, Heroic Intervention, Narset's Reversal, Arcane Denial, Force of Will, Force of Negation, Fierce Guardianship, Deflecting Swat, Hull Breach, Decimate, Commit Memory, and Return to Nature help us to keep our opponents in line. Cyclonic Rift, and Blasphemous Act help us to reset the board as needed. Thousand Year Storm, Swarm Intelligence, Double Vision, Dual Caster Mage, Reverberate, Expansion Explosion, Crackle with Power, Comet Storm, Twin Cast, Reiterate, and Rowl Storm Conduit are how we plan on winning. Supporting our plan, we've got Doppelgang, Rite of Replication, Mythos of Aluna, Quasi Duplicate, and Twinning Staff. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 51 mana sources split between 34 lands, 14 pieces of ramp, and 3 rituals. 14 pieces of card advantage. 16 pieces of interaction. 2 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate in commit memory and return to nature. 1 sudden I win card in Thousand Year Storm. No, seriously, Thousand Year Storm is gross and I love it. I know that some of you are still wondering why I included Manamorphos as a ritual when it is clearly a cantrip, and Thousand Year Storm is why. One of my favorite ways to win with Riku is to have Thousand Year Storm on board, cast Manamorphos, and then Narset Traversal my own Manamorphos. Thousand Year Storm then makes a copy of Narset Traversal because it's the second spell we've cast this turn. The copy of Narset's Reversal returns the original Narset's Reversal to our hand, making a copy of that spell. The new copy targets Manamorphos, returning it to our hand. We then resolve the new copy, draw a card, and add two mana as the copy resolves. Repeat to draw through our deck and generate a ton of mana. But this deck is all about training. We need to push hard to generate as much mana as possible, so that we can destroy the table in a single serious punch. Or a series of regular punches. That works too. So our goal is to tutor up Nyx Bloom Ancient and make copies of it. We don't need a ton of copies, just enough to make enough mana to kill the table. One serious punch should do the trick, right? Do you have a themed deck? Who is your commander and how do you stick to that theme? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash For only $25, you too can have a commander video built at your request. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Borgie, Naswin, Pedro, Tom, Echo Fox, Midge, Swifty, Lucis, Detroff, Rally, Elf, Frank, Alex, and Jenny. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.